Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and you should get extra excited about today's Overlook But Awesome card because it's actually legal in Modern. Well, other than the fact that it's currently priced at 39 cents, nobody plays it, it costs 5, and it's a bit of a gimmick. So, yeah, pretty much just another Commander card, but... Have you ever been playing a game, and whether you got an amazing opening hand or you got a terrible opening hand, it led you to thinking, wouldn't it be nice if I could start the game with just my own hand-picked set of seven cards? If I could just take the seven best combo pieces or seven most powerful cards or a perfect one, two, three, four ramp with three mana or just whatever out of your deck and start the game with it, boy, that would be a game you basically couldn't lose. Well, what if I told you that there is no card that does that? Oh, yes. Oh, you have been bamboozled. Which, by the way, is the name of Blue Spell from Odyssey. But anyway, in the absolutely legendary 10th edition, not to be confused with M10, there was a reprint as a rare of a card from Onslaught. So what this hilarious, trolly, stupid, gimmicky prank of a card that is perfect for multiplayer commander does is the exact opposite of what I just said, but to your opponents. And if you're already thinking, oh, Des, that's devious. I'm all about that. Let me add it. 39 cents. I got that in my pocket right now. Well, let me introduce you to the five cost black sorcery from 10th edition called Head Games. Very appropriately named. So it is a five cost sorcery. Not the easiest thing in the world to cast, but I think it's appropriate for what it does. And this is Commander we're talking about. So this card states with the updated oracle text, target opponent puts the cards from their hand on top of their library, search that player's library for that many cards. The player puts those cards into their hand, then shuffles their library. So if you're thinking, that's highly redundant, completely unnecessary and highly redundant, because why put them on top of their library if the first thing you're going to do is shuffle them? Well, in case there's some terrifically unplayable, worthless, useless cards in their hand, you want them to be available to pick when you select some wonderful replacements for them. Oh, but the position doesn't matter, right? Wrong. Nowhere does it say reveal their hand, and it also doesn't say that it hits their graveyard. So if you want to know what cards they had in hand to see if they were bluffing or to see what they were going to play, what their plan was, what card they fetched earlier in the game, just whatever really, look at the top couple cards of their library, and that is what they used to have in hand. Then select from the entire library the worst possible, most irrelevant, unplayable garbage that they could possibly ever come up with, place that back into their hand, and then proceed with the game. Now, I will say this is so tedious, at least it's only one opponent, but you have to look through upwards of, you know, 80, 90 individual non-repeating cards, read what every single one of them does, and then put the least useful cards in your opinion, now that you know what their whole entire deck does, put those back into their hand. So that's going to take a while, unless you just say, screw the whole thing, I bet they don't need more lands and then proceed to hand them the most useless lands from their deck. Or I would say, if they're having trouble getting enough lands, just pick out the most expensive spells in their entire deck and hand them to them. Oh, in a case it wasn't terrifically obvious before, if their hand contained two cards when this resolved, then you get rid of those and then go get them two cards. If it was four cards, you go get four cards. If it was seven, you go get seven. If it was 50, you go get 50. Hey, a couple cards let you do that. So this is just so funny. Everybody in a multiplayer game at the table can laugh at what you just did to the person and what you just handed them. The one thing that I actually wish was clear is if that's public information, because you might actually be breaking the rule of the game, because nowhere does it actually say reveal it. Now, reveal means something to the effect of publicly display them for anybody currently playing in the game to see if they so desire. The definition is something virtually identical to that. So this doesn't say reveal the cards that you chose to all the other players, but it also doesn't say like place them face down or anything that implies purposely obscuring that information. The other thing is uh, the forced information policy of the game, which is uh, basically if it says go get an equipment out of your deck, you have to reveal it in order to prove that what you just grabbed is an equipment. So I can think of one card in the entire history of the game, after Oracle Text Corrections, that does not make you prove by revealing uh, a card type when a card type is specified. But this could be any card at all. So you are not under any obligation to prove that you selected, you know, three creatures from their deck because they could be anything. So be very careful. And I mean, there's no rulings on this. I'm not sure what a judge would say. 
but you actually might not be allowed to show the cards that you selected to other players in the game in a multiplayer game. That said, I'm about 99% sure that this rule differs from professional poker, where you can tell them the cards that you selected. Showing them the cards you selected to prove it may not be allowed, but telling them the cards and just hoping they believe you and possibly lying as well, I don't think either one of those are against the rules. Nothing that I've ever heard, and it very well could be wrong there, but, well, that's what happens when Wizards doesn't put a ruling on a card. By the way, the official poker rule, as far as I understand it, is you can share information about the cards that are in your hand as long as it's not accurate. Which is actually pretty funny if you think about it. Oh, individually identifying information. Um, you can make vague statements. So hopefully you can play this card, absolutely piss off everybody else playing. Now that I think about it, I wonder if you revealing every single card in their library as you search through it is legal. Boy, this card presents a lot of questions in a multiplayer game, doesn't it? Hey guys, everybody else playing, this is exactly what they're playing, and just thumb through the cards. I'm sure that would be dickish, but I'm not sure if it would actually be against the rules. I mean, does Multiplayer Commander even have official rules? Who knows? But regardless, this card is absolutely hilarious. I hope some of you add it to your Commander decks just to mess with your friends. And hopefully the next time your opponents complain about, wow, I couldn't choose worse cards if I handpicked them. You may reply with, is that so? Let me take a crack at it. I bet I can make it worse. This definitely reminds me of the famous quote from The Chappelle Show, which is a wonderful way to close this video. I hate you. I hate you. I don't even know you when I hate your guts. I hope everything bad in life happens to you and only you. Which is pretty much what this card does. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you guys next video.